Hi everyone, my name's Nancy and I'm here today to show you how to set up your student account. The first thing to do to get to our single sign-on page is to go to the main page of www.barstow.edu and then click on Viking Login Portal. Your username is your capital B number. Your initial password is the last four numbers of your B number plus the uppercase first two letters of your first name plus the lowercase first two letters of your last name plus the at symbol plus the day of your birthday which is two numbers between 01 and 31. I know it sounds complicated but it really isn't. Alright, in this example the last four characters of the student ID are 5364. The uppercase first two letters of the first name are capital J, capital O. The lowercase first two letters of the last name are lower D, case D, lowercase O. The at symbol plus the day of the birthday, which in this case is December 2nd or 02. Take a moment now to pause the video while you figure out your own unique username and password. To log in, enter the username in the top box and enter the password in the bottom box. To access Office 365, click the Office 365 button as shown. To stay signed in, click Yes. Only do this on your own personal computer and only do it if you only have one Microsoft account. Otherwise, click No. Creating a new email message. To create a new email message, click the plus new icon. To add a new message, you are first going to type in the recipient name up here. Then you're going to type your message in the body of the email down here. And then you will click send as indicated. To read and reply to a message, click once on the email to read it. To reply to it, in the upper right hand corner of the message, there is a Reply All icon. You will click on that and choose Reply. Only choose Reply All if you wish to have everyone who received the email receive a copy of your response. And only click Forward if you want to send the email to someone who hasn't already received it. To find the Microsoft Office Suite, click the words Barstow Community College located within the black bar at the top of the menu page. You can use the applications online, which is what we recommend when you're outside of the college. Otherwise, please come into the Computer Commons and use them with Learning Support Specialist Assistance. It's much easier to get your work done when you have someone there who can answer your questions. All right. But if you're at home, you can use the application online. You click once on any application to open it. So I would click on once to open my OneDrive, which is where I store my documents. Once to start a new Word document. Once to start an Excel document. Once to start a PowerPoint document. But if I'm at home and I want to install this on my own personal computer, you can do that by clicking Install Office App. Then you're going to click Office 2016. Office 2016. You're going to click Save File and then Run the File. You're going to click Yes to start installing. Then you need to stay online and after the installation you start Office and you sign in with your account. For you that's going to be your student email account. All right, one last disclaimer. The college cannot guarantee your computer can run Office 365. The college isn't responsible for changes you make to your computer. And if you still need help installing Microsoft Office 365, you should visit the Microsoft Office link located in the bottom left corner of the installation screen, right down here next to the close button. All right, that's it for today. I hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll see you on the flip side.